fucker, 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 fucker. Hello, everybody. This is me, the lunatic. The guy that owns the uh, Sony CX-130 camcorder that I bought at Best Buy. And I also bought the extra protection plan. Okay. Well, here's my camera. I just got it back two days ago. Okay. It was gone for a month for repair. Here's my camera I got back. Check it out, y'all. Let's, let's open up the screen and uh, try to make a movie. Yep, you're getting a glare. Huh. Nothing happens. It does not come on one bit. Nothing's going on. Nothing's happening. Let's go over here and push the, uh, push the on button. Push the button. Push the button. Didn't y'all ever heard that song? Push the button. Old breakdancing song. Let's push that button again. Push the button. Nothing happens. No action. Okay, let's close the... Close it like you're supposed to be able to close this and then open it. It's supposed to come on automatically. All right. It's not going to work because I closed it the last time I used it like you're supposed to close it. It's automatically supposed to turn off and the internal settings are set as such. Well, here we go. This is what I get. I get a green blinking light. Now that green blinking light will not go away. It will not stop until either this battery runs down or I remove my camera from the tripod, which at this point, I've just got it on a small, uh, fat gecko tripod, which it, it's not that difficult to get off. But when I'm doing my uh, professional videos of the drag races and things like that, I've got it on a different tripod with a different type of uh, tripod mount. Okay, and to get the battery out to reboot this camera... To, to get this problem to stop, you have to take the battery out and put it back in. You have to reboot the camera by doing like that. Well, to take this off every time just to have to get the battery out and reboot it so my camera will work normally again is one hell of a pain in the ass when you're working at the drag races or somewhere else like that where you have fast action video that you have to uh, record for uh, four seconds and then stop and then record for four more seconds or five more seconds or whatever and then stop okay I'm making this rant video this isn't a rant uh, well it's gonna turn into a rant video if Best Buy does not make this right okay I did not have my camera for one month I did not have my camera for one month it came back with the same problem. This time, it better not take a month. I want this problem fixed or I want a new camera. Now, I'm showing it to you right now. This, this doggone camera, if I don't take that battery out, it's gonna heat that, the whole damn thing's gonna start getting hot. The whole camera will get hot, very hot. All right, let's uh, let's see, let's see what I can do here. If I can, I'm trying to use this this little handheld camera that I got just to document. Let me take it off the tripod. The not really a tripod, but the little mount that I got. Hang on, take it off the little mount that I got, and I'm going to show you. Let's see, push that button, which is supposed to stop recording. No, don't do nothing. Doesn't do a doggone thing. Try, let's try the zoom button. Zoom button? No, that don't do nothing. Let's try the uh, photo button. Let's push the photo button. 
nothing ha nothing happens okay now let's push the button that says mode um, mode mode nothing happens absolutely nothing happens as you can see the shutter is closed the screen is closed but now it's open and I still get no reaction no reaction when you open the screen it does not activate but still we have something happening okay let's push play and see what happens there's there's like a little play button in here so you can uh, view your videos that you have on your card let's push play play Does play do anything no play does nothing let's push the power button right just right next to it I don't know if you can see that on this camera there is a power button right next to that play button uh, this camera won't pick it up because it's not a quality HD camera like I bought it Best Buy. Let's push the power button. Let's see what happens. Power button. Nothing. No reaction from the power button. Nothing at all. But the stupid light's still blinking. Alright. What we're going to have to do now is to get anything to work we're going to have to remove this battery. All right, and you might be asking why I've got dots, what, what these dots are on my battery. Well, I've got a lot of batteries. And I have different, I have one battery has one dot, the next battery has two dots, and the next battery has three dots. This way I can keep track of what battery is being used. So I use one, then I go to two dots, then I go to three dots, then I go to four dots. That way I know that I've got a currently charged battery when I'm doing these events because you know I, I I go and record for two or three days at a time now let's reboot this camera by removing the battery now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just to show you it's still it's still doing its thing let's remove the battery this is hard to do with one hand let's uh gotta pull this little switch and remove the battery. Alright, we've removed the battery. Now, your blinking light stopped. <laughs> but we still got no power and nothing works because, of course, we have no battery in there. Let's put our battery back and open it up. Oh, look! It's operational again. Everything is just fine. Everything works perfectly. The shutter has opened. Uh, that's not the shutter. That's the keyboard. The, yeah, the shutter has opened. Okay, operational is wonderful. I'm done with it now. Let me close it. Get the blinking light. It should blink about three times and then hold on for a second and then shut back off. Beep, 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 beep. Huh. It's not. Now we have an intermittent problem again. Okay, it just done it. This is now it's doing it twice in a row. All right, my SD card on this camera is about to uh, fill up. So I'm showing you my intermittent problem. Fix it. I'm pissed. It's not working. Now I've got to take the battery out and do this again to use my camera. Take the battery out. Damn it. Put the battery back in. Now it works. All right. All right, Mom. Over here again behind me. That's where the axe is at. Over here? Right here. I can't see I'm anything. looking at the wrong side of I it. can't. Oh. All right. <laughs> What's uh, going on with you? Um, well, you may want to see this stuff. Uh, I've been here before with this problem, mm -hmm. with this camera. The first time I came, it's an intermittent problem. It's just, uh, if we send it in and they can't see it, the problem, then I'm going to have to pay the shit. Well, I've decided, no, well, maybe.
maybe I'll just take it back and it won't do it. But it's done it again. We brought it in for this problem. Okay. And it took them a month to get this camera back to me. Almost a month. All right. And the only thing that was done to this camera was they repaired a switch. Now, it still has an intermittent problem, which I've documented fully on a different camera. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and as you can see, the, the intermittent problem happened this morning. I would like for you to try to operate this camera, if you would. Okay, so what's, what's going on with it? Well, just give it a try. Well, I mean, this is not my camera, so I'm not 100% sure on as far as using it. Well, right now, it should, open. It should up start operation. When you open it, it should start operation. And then you press this to uh, either start recording a video. Ma'am, you have to turn the camera off or you have to leave the building with it. Uh, it's a security you? issue. I'm responsible for security. You cannot be taking pictures. We can't you take pictures? Go. You gotta go. Right, fine, you want to do that? Excuse me, sir. We can't take yeah, pictures yeah, in a yeah, place that's... This place sells cameras. Right now, but you're, you're taking pictures of people? I'm not okay. taking pictures of people. All right, we're done. Hey, folks. Uh, don't know if you can see the store behind me. They think that they're the best. Well, let me tell you a story. I just got kicked out of that store and uh, banned from the store. If I ever come to the store again, I'll be charged with trespassing. They called the fucking police on me because I have a camera that I bought from them that does not work and has been through Geek Squad now. Okay, you all know about my problem with my camera. Well. They just kicked me out of the store. They will not replace the camera. Well, they will not fix the camera. And they told me I can't come back to their store ever again. I paid $500 for the camera. And then I paid extra for the warranty. The extra warranty to have it repaired. Well, they took it, sent it away for a month, came back, and it was not repaired. And now, uh seeing as I went into the store with a different camera documenting my experience with customer service, they kicked me out. They said I was not allowed to record or take pictures in their store. But their store has thousands of cameras in it taking pictures of me, but I'm not allowed to take my camera in there and uh, Use, use it to take pictures of if anything in the store so that store behind me you can suck my fucking ass hey folks Best Buy doesn't want anybody to take any kind of recording device inside their store so that way uh, nobody can record how the customers are truly being treated when there's a problem with something. Yeah. Don't bring nothing in Best Buy trying to record because you'll get banned from the store and uh, you'll have a trespassing warrant against you. So if you ever go back, you will uh, be arrested. Oh, by the way, when, when, whenever I was asked to quit recording, I did so immediately. But still, four county sheriff came. Four police, four cops, four cops came to Best Buy to get me, to, to remove me from the store, okay? Me and my old lady. My yeah, me and my wheelchair. mom. I had her, I had her in a wheelchair. I was recording her. I mean, she was holding the camera. Oh boy, what a mess this is. I mean, four, four police that could have been catching criminals came to kick me out of Best Buy because, uh, Best Buy didn't want to be recorded treating a customer badly. They don't want the public to know how they truly are when a customer has a problem with something. Yep. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. And now, I can't go to that store ever again in my life. The closest Best Buy for me to take this camera to to resolve this problem is an hour away. This is what Best Buy has done to me. So, 
I suggest if you have anything that's electronic or whatever that you would like to buy, find you someplace else to buy it other than a place that I went shopping one day. Yeah. You may get better customer service. Yeah. Screw it. I'm going fishing. <laughs> okay, everybody. Uh, all my viewers, as you may know, just got back from uh, dealing with these people. Um, now, I'm going to call the 1 800 number for, uh, I guess, customer service. I don't know. Seeing as I didn't get great customer service where I was at, I'm going to call uh, maybe corporate office or something, and I'm going to ask them if they would like to see a copy of the video that actually was recorded of the woman in the wheelchair being harassed and told to she was that they were going to call the police on her. Okay, because I wasn't recording anything. Okay, my mother was holding a camera, and the man, as you saw in the video clip just then, you saw it. Well, now you're going to see this. You're going to see a phone call, and you're going to hear a phone call to Best Buy. Stay tuned. Okay, you will get audio uh, of what's going on in here from a different device. So, let's give him a call. to the store with it uh, after I brought it back home and found out that it was not repaired. I went back into the store with it and uh, was given very, very, very bad customer service at the store and was told that I could never come back to the store for trespassing only because my mother that I had pushed into the store in a wheelchair had a camera that was on. Okay, so they called the police and about four police came out and kicked me out of the store and now I have this camera that does not work that I cannot get serviced because I can't come back to your store. So I really don't know who to talk to. Thank you. Line and your call. 
call will be answered in the order received. I'm not sure if the other device is picking up the audio or not. I just feel I was treated unfairly. I was told not to record or take pictures in there. And when I was, I turned off the device. I, you know, I took it from my mother and I turned it off. But the police were still called and we were still kicked out of the store and my problem with my camera is still not resolved. Geek Squad, um, yeah, I'm, I don't know if the uh, first caller that I spoke with um, gave you any kind of uh, idea of what the call was about. Okay, so I need to go through the whole thing over again. All right, I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to be. I'm gonna try to be very nice about um, it. Because uh -huh. I, I know. Yeah, that you I'm, I don't know if the uh, first call that I spoke with any of this. Um, right. Give you any kind of uh, idea of what the call was about. Um, I haven't spoken to anybody but Chief. Okay, so I need to go through the whole thing over again. I bought a camera. I'm going to be very nice about this. Because I know that you did nothing wrong. And you have nothing to do with any of this. Alright? Alright. 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 I bought a camera. And it wasn't uh, Five hundred something. It was five hundred something dollars. Okay, uh, so Sony I HD video camera. Today. And I purchased the. See, the problem was intermittent. Okay, it would happen sometimes, and then sometimes it wouldn't. And sent it in. So I went back in there today with the camera it while it was back acting up and doing its little and problem. It wasn't prepared. But I also had a different okay, video so camera I went running back to document today. the problem. In case the problem was needed, intermittent. It would happen you know, sometimes. You know exactly sometimes what it was doing because they so sent it off and they obviously today couldn't figure out what was going on with it. Wow. Anyway, acting up and doing its little problem. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also had a different video camera running case. to I document the problem. In the and in I case had her, asked her to hold the other camera you know, to know to exactly what it was the, doing uh, because they sent it off and they obviously the couldn't that we figure out what was going on with her. And bringing back anyway, into Geek Squad. Uh, security okay, at your store came, the, the security uh, jumped on my mother's door, came and case. Said, she would push my mother in there in a wheelchair. People, blah, and I had her ask her to hold the other camera about the time to document the uh, camera from my mother to turn it off. He turned around and ran off. Came back into Geek Squad. Calling, I'm calling the police. And four Four county sheriffs came, came over there and kicked us out of the store and banned us from the store. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And so so the now I can not go in that store and have to turn it off. And I have he turned that around whole part and of that time video where he came over there and didn't even give us a chance to turn the camera off. Four county sheriffs came over there and for the security of their own employees and banned us from the store. Whatever, whatever, whatever. So now I can it's all not documented. go in that store else I'll be trespassing. On my camera before I, and I actually got to turn it off. that whole part of that caught on okay. video where he came over there and didn't even give us yeah. a chance to it turn the camera good. off. I feel like I was to, to treated very, very unfairly. For the and now to get their my own camera employees and all this blah, blah, to, blah, to whatever, deal with whatever, whatever, my, uh, it's all documented on the camera that I bought. On my camera before I actually got to turn it off. I have to go an hour to another Best Buy store from where I live. Yes. It is kind of good. I feel like I was treated very, very okay. unfairly. And now to get I my camera, the camera uh, to, to, to deal with my uh, warranty my on the camera that I bought, I have to go no, man. an hour uh, to it's, another it's Best Buy store. It's past the 14-day uh, return. Now that's pretty unreasonable. Uh, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like you got a 14-day return uh, policy or whatever. It was past that. So if it wouldn't have been, I would have just traded it in for another camera. No, ma'am. Since it was no, past the 14 it's days, past thing, the, I went uh, ahead and had a it. And uh, they said it would be back you know, you know what I'm on a, on a certain 14, date, which it was. It ended up taking a month. Off, whatever, it was past that. And he so was coming up to Thanksgiving. Been, I would have just traded it in for another camera. camera's still not working. Yeah. Yeah. Since it was past the 14 days, I went ahead and had a set of camera. And I'm banned from the Best Buy store where I can't get anything done about my camera. And now, I'm a pretty good customer. I love Best Buy. I bought a $1,200 laptop for y'all. 
I bought my yeah, first solar you know, panel from y'all. I bought my second solar panel from y'all. I was going to buy a hard drive from them while I was there, but they threw me out. I can't get anything done about my so, camera. And um, I'm a pretty good customer. I, I love that box. I, I bought a $1,200 dollar I don't know if I'm calling to just vent a rent, I bought my first solar panel from y'all. I feel like I was treated unfairly. My credit, my best buy credit card is right here in my hands. I was going to buy a hard drive today while I was there, but they threw me out. I'm almost fed up with it. I don't even want to talk about best buy anymore. But, you know, of course, if I have to. I mean, if I want to, I gotta go an hour away to get there. I don't have to rent a rant, but I feel like I was treated I'm not allowed at this one no more. My credit, like the police are going to take me to jail. My credit card is right here in my hands. Of 
the that I can make problem. a DVD with explanations of this is what's happening to it. The intermittent this problem. is what it needs to be with repaired. explanations of it. Okay. This, this is what's what happening squad, to it. This is what this is what it needs to be repaired when I bring it. Okay, okay. this is like what fixes each squad. This is what each you know, squad doesn't see when I bring it because it's like it fixes itself. Like it on the way there, you know, a call okay, really well, to the mechanic that doesn't make the weird it. noise. But at the same yeah. time, okay, well, that I, was, I made a test I was of still it. recording but on a at different the same camera time, of the problem. It was, so when I, I was still recording Buy, on a different camera of the problem. Rep, so when we got to Best Buy, to work the I wanted the customer service rep while it was to doing its, try its to little, work the camera you know, and screw activate it. While it was, while it while working. it was doing its, its little just in case, you know, screw up thing. Wrong. I wasn't yeah, see while it wasn't working. It wasn't just me. It was just also see, I was doing the Geek wrong. Squad I wanted them to see that it wasn't right. just me. It was also they the Geek Squad couldn't even get it to That's when they called the police on me. That did not go over well at all. That's when they called the police on me. And I really don't think that they needed to call four policemen for a little old lady in a wheelchair. <laughs> I, uh, I really don't either. I, you know. <laughs> I, I think I'd be more upset than you are. Um, okay, and I had this ready to uh, trace um, it, but I'm going to sound the phone. This, uh, to, uh, this phone call is being recorded? Um, this, uh, this, this, uh, this phone call is being recorded? That's okay. Yeah. I, I, okay. I, do you give me permission uh, that's okay. to record uh, your phone uh, call? I, I, I do. Do you give me permission <laughs> to record your phone call? I didn't know that I couldn't. I didn't know that I didn't know that I couldn't record it. So all the guy would have had to tell was just come and please can you turn it off? All the guy would have had to tell was just come and He did say that, but then he ran away real quickly. He did say that, but then he ran away real quickly. I rate. I'm calling the police. And he did, and that's what happened. So. I'm anyway, recording uh, you and you're recording me, okay. and we all record each other. I'm recording the police, you and you're recording me. The police wouldn't let me record them. I asked the police when he was there. The police wouldn't let me record them. I asked the police when he was there. I said, can I record you telling me I have to leave? I can't. He said, no. He said, because I didn't give you permission to record. Why not? He said, because I didn't give you permission to record me. Just, I don't understand that. I thought we had a constitution in the United States that had freedom of press and things like that. Oh, honey, you're right about that, that now. You're right about that now. I would still, like to, would still like to be able to shop at Best Buy. But I really don't want to have to drive an hour away to get to it. Is there anything that we can do to straighten this out? Okay. Please. And I'm gonna, oh, okay, and I'm going to okay. place you on a brief hold, and I'm okay. going to, uh, you want to tell the stuff that you have yeah. to tell the story. Yeah. 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 Yeah
My address is 1205 Bay Circle, Nashville, Florida, 32578. All righty. And I just had an email address here. Could I go ahead and get you to verify that for security purposes? Cregan, uh, uh 37 at yahoo.com. All right. Thank you very much for that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Nashville, Florida. Where is Nashville? Florida. Nashville, Florida, Florida is just, is just a, a tad a bit, a bit above Destin. Destin. Um, um, between Crestview near, near Fort Walton, uh, kind, of near, uh, kind of near Panama City. City. Okay, okay. Now, you finally name a city I know. Panama City? Panama City? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of it. A lot of a people, lot of people ask me that. Where is Nashville? Nashville? And, 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 they, and actually they actually think I'm talking about Nashville, but, but just, just because of my accent. But it's near Panama City. It's between Panama City and Pensacola. Okay. Where are you from? I'm, I'm in Kentucky. You sound southern. You sound southern. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> no, 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 no further south than that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, but, uh, near, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm near. Uh, uh, I'm kind of near. I guess it's an hour um, east of Pensacola and, and about 45 minutes west, west of Panama okay. City. Okay. Yeah. I'll say I'm. I've been to Pensacola or not, yeah, Pensacola. Uh, we traveled yeah. down there. Um, I was in the high school band. We could make one trip to Florida every year. Oh, yeah. One of the trips we made was to uh, Pensacola for some type of festival uh, or something they had going on down there. I can't remember what it was. Um, I'm thinking it was some type of Five Flags or something. Five Flags uh, or. It was that Spanish. Uh, uh, yeah, the. Uh, the five that, yeah, the, uh, like the Five uh, Flags Pons Festival was kind of like whenever uh, Ponce de Leon or Columbus or whoever came over these ships and, and, all that, and uh, landed yeah. and, and all that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. The Luna, the Luna, the Luna Fest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> yeah. You was playing in the band? Drum, okay. I, I played baritone. Oh, did you? Drum, yeah. okay. I, I played yeah, baritone. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yep, yep, it was all right. Water, uh, look down at a big bunch of fish come swimming by my legs. Oh, no. And I, I just swore they were sharks. Uh, oh, no. Sharks going down the side. They were going to kill out. Those were probably Spanish mackerel, but you're uh, those, you're those, right those were probably Spanish mackerel, but you're... Uh, you're correct. There are plenty of sharks out there. I do a lot of fishing, and there's there's lots of sharks out here. Stay close. Stay close to shore. If you ever come back and go swimming, stay about waist deep. You'll be all right. Yeah, sometimes you can. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you can. Yeah. No, that's fine. into the store in Destin with a, uh, uh, a camera that had been sent away uh, to Sony uh, in California the, uh, through the Geek Squad um, uh, extra plan or whatever. I bought the uh, okay. so I uh, extra protection away, warranty or whatever on my camera. Button, okay. So I had to get it uh, sent away. It had a broken button and a, uh, an intermittent uh, problem happen, that whenever... Uh, it would happen, the camera would not shut off. You could close the screen, and I don't know if you're familiar with uh, these little camcorders or not, but when you close the screen, it's supposed to turn off. And then when, when you open the screen, it's supposed to turn on and get ready to go. Well, this thing would not turn off, and once, once it started doing this intermittent problem, you could you close the screen, it would never cut off. That, uh, and then when you'd open the screen, it wouldn't cut back on. You'd just get this green blinking light constantly that would run your battery down and it would heat the camera up. 
and you could not you could not do anything. The camera would not function at all unless you totally removed the battery out of it and then replaced it back in. Which really ain't that big of a deal. But I use this thing to make my money and it's on a tripod which has a tripod holder and to take the battery out you gotta remove it off the tripod then remove the tripod holder off of the camera itself and uh, I don't know if you're familiar with drag racing but a car comes by in four seconds I can't I can't take the battery out and take it off the tripod and all this and do all that in four seconds just to, re to reboot my camera that's got a problem okay well we sent it we sent it away to get it fixed, uh, and ago. we told him exactly and, what was uh, going on with it and all that. It come back to me uh, a couple of days ago, and uh, the button was repaired, and, and uh, that was all. To this, this morning, I went to use the camera again to record a video, and uh, the intermittent problem was still uh, there. And I look in the report from the Geek Squad to where it says what was repaired, and it says the only thing that was repaired was the switch. It says nothing about the intermittent problem, but but the but the the report that was sent to them with the camera for repair did tell them about that. So they didn't take care of something that they should have. I went went back to Best Buy with the camera today while it was doing its problem. Okay, I mean I left the thing on. It, 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 this camera started doing its problem this morning at eight o'clock in the morning. So I just left it on and let it sit there and do its thing and it heated up and the battery was running down until 10 o'clock till Beth Fry opened. In the meantime, I've got another camera over here which is not nowhere near as good a quality and I'm using it to document the intermittent problem. Okay, well, we go in Best Buy with this. Uh, I, I've got my mother, which she pushed in a wheelchair. She's holding the other camera. And, uh, documenting I this intermittent this problem me. so also, we can show them, you know, this is what's going on. on camera of the and uh, uh, I have a disc with me, also a DVD whatever. that I've made um, on another camera anyhow, of the intermittent problem in case they need to use that to send it to Geek Squad or whatever. Um, whatever. Anyhow, uh, and, uh, a, a she was actually told her holding the camera backwards and it was only recording her face. And, uh, a guy came up from security and told her, ma'am, you're going to have to turn the camera off or leave the store. And she doesn't know how to work the camera, so I took the camera from her to turn it off. And he just immediately just went ballistic and took off and called the police on me. And they banned, they banned me from the store. They told me if I ever come back, I'm trespassing, I'm going to go to jail. And the way I was treated, I felt like he didn't even give me a chance to take the camera from my mother and turn it off. Um, we've got a minute and 30 seconds on here of me talking with the uh, customer service rep, the CM or the GM or whoever he is, with, with the camera pointed at him recording. And he never indicated to us that we couldn't be recording. All of a sudden, a minute and 35 or 6 seconds into this situation, comes security comes from behind her and tells her she has to turn it off. And then when I grab it to turn it off, he just runs away and calls the police and they kick us out. And my problem is not resolved now. I, have, I still have a camera that's no good. I, I can't go to this store. I have to go to a different store that told me. And that's an hour away to go to another store to take care of this problem. I love Best Buy, I love y'all store, I bought a lot of things there, and I really don't feel like I should be banned from this store just because of uh, something that just, you know, something like this. And I've got video to back up what I'm saying, that the guy was just was totally irrational about, you know, telling us to turn the camera off and then going to call the police without even giving us a chance to turn the camera off. I spoke with Donald, and he said his name was the CSM. 
All he could do was give me Donald. He wouldn't give me his last name or nothing. His name was Donald, and he was the CSN. I did get that far. I did get that far. I wasn't trying to, you know, put people on it. I wasn't trying to, you and, uh, know, put people on YouTube or nothing. I, I, I do YouTube for my, that's my income. I'm in there wearing a YouTube shirt. Okay, I wear a YouTube t-shirt to advertise my, my YouTube channel and all that. And, uh, there's, there's a total misunderstanding. They think I'm taking their pictures to put them on YouTube. And I'm not. Okay. If I'm not treated correctly through this whole customer service deal, I may make a YouTube movie that's not going to be very nice to Best Buy. <laughs> okay. Exactly what happened because I've got part of a uh, <laughs> I've got part of this whole thing recorded to where the uh, security guy come up and told her to turn it off. And when I tried to take it from her to turn it off, he took off. I'll call the police. And that's exactly what happened. I, I emailed it to you. It's a real short clip. malicious. I was only trying to document that I had a problem with the camera. <laughs> exactly, right, right. Could have been taken care of real easy if the security guy at, at the door that watches all his little computer, all his little uh, monitors, would have just not overreacted. He could have just said, "Turn, turn that off, please." And I even offered to take the media card out of the camera and give it to this uh, Donald, the CSM, and told him, "I said, take it back there and, and format it if you want. I don't care. You know that don't matter to me. What I'm here for is to get my camera." That's what I want. I want a camera. I mean, you want to stay on the camera? Here I am with a broken camera. That's fine. You can uh, give me a call back. You, you can call okay. me back, uh, or if you want to email me or whatever, it, it doesn't matter. Thank um, you. I'm not going to stay online and hold, up, hold the line. You just call them at your convenience and all that. Um, okay, no, but, no, you know, no. I appreciate y'all taking care that's of That's fine. You can just. You, you can call me back, uh, or if you want to email me or whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm not going to stay online and hold up the phone. You can just call them at your convenience and all that. Um, but uh, I appreciate y'all taking care of this and, and talking to me about it. And if I was, I'm sorry, um, but I still I feel like, you know, card, I should, I should, um, I should have been handled a little bit differently. <laughs> I mean, so at least I take care of my camera you know, before you ban me from the store. So I don't have to go an hour away to get, get a, to try to take care okay, of this well, problem. Well, that's, that's 
um, in the meantime, I tore up my Best Buy credit card, um, which I probably did in a fit of rage, so I don't know if, if, uh, if this gets resolved, I may need y'all to send me a, a duplicate. <laughs> two-minute phone call. Wow. You know, it's probably going to be hard for y'all to see this. Maybe I should turn into the light. This is what I want to give you. Something to think about. Tastes like salt. Okay. Most people don't ever see me like this. Alright. How in the world is it possible?
to see eyes that beautiful with uh, with tears coming out of them. Uh, well, you know, I'm so messed up about this right now. It's very difficult for me to even figure out how to work the camera, okay? It's hard for me to cry. Mostly my ducks are broken. But the way uh, the world's going, it's really fucking sad. Really, really sad to see the way this world is going and what this planet is turning into. All right? It's really hard for me to watch this freaking world do what it's doing to us. The inhabitants of the planet that we live on. But it's us. The inhabitants, the occupants of the planet that's doing it. We're doing it to ourselves, people. You know, I can't fuck, I can't, uh, believe that I'm sitting here making this video right now, okay? I'm going to zoom in on my eyeball. Look at that eyeball. Look at the beautiful, beautiful blue colors in that eyeball. Yeah. But reality is, there's no peace left in this world. Ain't no peace left in this world, in this country, or in this world anywhere. You know it. You've all known it for a long time. Don't let your kids watch this video, okay? This is this is not one of my regular videos, and everybody and anybody that knows me knows this. It's not one of my regular videos. You know, but there's only so much a motherfucker can take. There's only so much a person can handle the bullshit until it builds up inside your ass. You know? And it comes out like the rest of the fucking shit that's going on in the fucking world. Yeah. Today I was told that I cannot film a police officer. Three or four frickin' county sheriff deputies came to Best Buy to kick me out because I was trying to film the uh, experience that I was having with customer service. But Best Buy did not want me filming in their store so instead of calmly asking me not to they called the fucking cops on me yeah and then I asked the cop I says well now that you're sitting here telling me that I can't do this and I can't do that because they don't want me filming in here I said can I film you telling me this and he said no you cannot film me 
and uh, that was kind of strange to me that I was I was unable to film one of the public representatives or one of the public officials. Would you call him a public official? I don't know what the fuck you would call him. I'll call him a sheriff's deputy, okay? And I respected him, and I did not film him because he asked me not to. But he told me I was not allowed to film him because he did not give me permission. I'll, I'll continue this video in a minute. I'm sure that's best by calling back. It was best by. Hang on. Hello? Donald? Donald? Yeah. No, this is not Donald. This is Kevin. Oh, okay. I'm not sure who Donald <laughs> is. Uh, I'm sorry, Kevin. Okay. tears coming out of my eyes for the first time in about five or six years that I can remember. I ain't had hired in a long time, but yeah. this, this whole, situation. whole situation has really got me upset because the police are going to arrest me for using a video camera in a situation that was totally non-threatening. I mean, did you see on the news the other day where a lady was pepper sprayed? And she was a full lady. A elderly 80-something year old lady was pepper sprayed for something. The world's coming to this crazy, this craziness, and it's just it's overwhelming me, and I haven't really even had to act about it. But Since I've been thinking about it. But anyway, anyway, forget that. What's up with you? Uh, um, you can call me back to uh, tell me. I know John Wood called the store. I talked to them. Okay. And everything, and this is their side of the store, and what went on, everything. Uh, and that, and there is not a thing. Regardless of what the store says, I understand that. That there's a no recording policy. Yeah. But I didn't know that until he, he came over there and said, so where, where are we at now? So, where we're at uh, uh, is the situation. There, there is not a thing that I can do. Uh, as I said, uh, they will put that one know because I'm going to be in there recording. Okay. Yeah. Recording. Yeah. And I just struggled a bit. I didn't know that I wasn't supposed to be recorded. Yeah. So I told not to. I quit. Yeah. I mean, right. it, it is possible now. Public defender. Right. Like, uh, in a legal staff? Are you a lawyer? No. Um, what what we do? Well, we, we don't want to have to end up taking this court. Are you customer service? Right. Hold on a minute. He, uh, said this, he just told right. you he was a public defender. Yeah, with think. customer service? He's trying to get the public. No, he's on our side. And yeah. Now, he's not on their side. He's trying to work for us, and he's trying to do things good for us. I'm above <laughs> customer service. appreciate what you've done for us, and, uh, um, so right now you're suggesting that I call the, uh, well, I was going to talk to him. Yeah. Uh, uh, Concerning this, now, I'm not sure it always be available. I think if they were to just go back and rewind their own security tapes and yeah. watch what happened, then they would realize that I ain't did nothing wrong. And that yeah. guy jumped the gun on me. You know? Yeah. They called the police on me. Right. You know? And I understand that. And I, you know, right. that, but, you know, that's all I can... Okay. You know, unfortunately, that's all I can do. That's fine. I, I wish I could do more, but, you know, right. okay. whenever they, you know, they, as my boss right. told me, you know, he said they're just, you know, they have got a very, no. very strict. They no I'm sure. I'm, I'm, sure they, I'm sure they do, and I don't, I don't and blame them for that. Because, because, you know, they're a big company, and they got a lot to protect. Well, and so, if whenever they, is you know, a, is, they see I, somebody I with their camera, that I wasn't if they to be a plastic yellow line outside okay. the store, yeah. he said they can stop, you know, they can make you go back to your car right next to the I was told not to, I can't. Yeah, but I mean, if, if you've got Geek Squad in there and you need help with your camera, uh, shouldn't you be allowed to come in with your camera? 
Well, you could come in with it, just not on the recording. Oh, so all of a sudden when they realize that they're yep. being recorded, that's yep. when they call the police and kick your ass out. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. Well, I tell you what, bud, I appreciate your help. You're my public defender. Can you give me that? You've helped me. You haven't offended me. All right, well, so I'm I want to thank you for offending anybody. No. I tried to defend it. Help me out. You haven't offended me yeah. one bit. And, and I just uh, there, I try to do what I possibly can yeah. and try to make sure right. everybody. You I work do. for Best Buy personally? Uh, or do you work? No, for actually, I don't. We work at a call center. Uh, okay. So, uh, uh, okay. So okay. So Best Buy cars. They hire. Right. Right. Uh, customer right. service. Customer, so, service. So, customer yeah. reps. Well, kind of, yeah. I got you. I got you. So, okay. So, well, I appreciate your help and uh, everything you've done for me. You yeah, did a professional job for what Sean? you've done for me. And, uh, okay. You're uh, probably, you probably, you probably, want to, you probably going to want to see the video uh, that gets made of this because I'm a professional video maker and everything has been defender? documented. Every single thing a of how I've been defender. treated documented. Okay. And, like, uh, uh in a, a lot of the money standard? that I used to spend at Best Buy is probably going to be a problem. <laughs> Are you a lawyer? understand that. You want to you um, watch it? I'll tell you the address where you can go watch it on YouTube. Well, I haven't got no way of telling you. Okay. They're very strict with us here. We can't have any personal possessions no. out here. We can't <laughs> have any kind can, of... Can't record recorded? No. We can't do anything. I mean, this, so, this call ain't being recorded? Oh, the call being recorded. Of course. Right. Right. I'm recording it, too. But we're not recording. I mean, oh, you know, I can't, I can't oh. record. You know what? Okay. Do. I can't get any information for it or anything. Yeah. Well, we so, uh, to end up taking Best Buy's uh, lawyers have oh, access to y'all's recordings or, or whatever. I'm sure, I'm sure they probably uh, they need to. Do you think that I can uh, get access to their uh, security tapes? I could. Now, how would I figure out that? Because I would sure love to have a copy of all of the security tapes from every single angle in that store. You know how many security tapes they got in there recording me while I was in there? How about so right now you're suggesting I don't know. That I call probably more. I sure would love to have a copy of all the tapes that they were recording me. Yeah. While they were telling me I couldn't record them, and then the police they came. Told me I couldn't even record them. They told me they're, they're gonna take me to jail if I record I them. I think if they were to just go back and rewind Ain't that their right? own security, if we got the first amendment. Watch what we got, happened. We got the Constitution. Then they would realize we have that. Freedom of press, or do we not? And that guy jumped the well, gun on well, me. That's you know, the, the big, they called uh, the police on me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's the big, yeah, that's why. That's why all these people that are doing these. Uh, Government, that's why all these people are getting sprayed okay. with pepper spray right now in yeah. this country. That's fine. This is a big bad thing that's happening. Okay. Uh, and I hate it. Oh, I wish I had a camera to fun. document it, but it's broken. <laughs> Thank uh, you for your help. I uh, appreciate you. I'm Give me sure that it, guy's I'm number. Sure I'm going to call him at Best Buy. I don't blame him for that. And because you've done a professional job and, and you ain't done nothing to defend me one bit. Appreciate your help, brother. Thanks. And you have a good night. End of phone call two. Yeah. With a camera? Yeah. But they sell cameras. Yeah, but I mean, and if you got Geek Squad in there and you need help with your camera, yeah. uh, shouldn't you be allowed to come in with your camera? Oh, so all of a sudden when they realize that they're being recorded, that's when they call the police and kick your ass out. Exactly. Okay. Well, I tell you what, bud, I appreciate your help. You're my public defender. You've helped me. You haven't offended me. All right? So I want to thank you for... No. You, 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 you've, you've helped me out. You haven't offended me one bit. And uh, if... You work for Best Buy personally, uh, or do you work for? Okay, so uh, okay, so they see, they hires right, right customer service, customer reps. I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. Okay, so well, I appreciate your help and uh, everything you've done for me. You did a professional job for what you've done for me, and uh, you're probably you probably you probably want you probably gonna want to see the video. Uh, that gets made of this because I'm a professional video maker and everything has been documented. Every single thing of how I've been treated has been documented. And 
a lot of the money that I used to spend at Best Buy is probably going to be abruptly stopped. Yeah. You want to you wanna watch it? I'll tell you the address where you can go watch it on YouTube. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> you can't. You can't record it? No. I mean, this this call ain't being recorded? Of course. Right. I'm recording it too. Oh, you not. Oh. Okay. So, uh, Best Buy's uh, lawyers have access to y'all's recordings or, or whatever in all. All right. Do you think that I can uh, get access to their uh, security tapes? How, how would I figure out that? Because I would sure love to have a copy of all of the security tapes from every single angle in that store. You know how many security tapes they got in there recording me while I was in there? Probably about 50. I don't know. Probably more. I sure would love to have a copy of all the tapes that they were recording me while they were telling me I couldn't record them. And then, and then the police that came told me I record them. They told me they're, they're going to take me to jail if I record them. Ain't that right? We got a First Amendment. We got we got the Constitution. We have freedom of press or do we not? Well, <laughs> there's a the big, there, yeah, that's why, that's why all these people that are doing these uh, government, th that's why all these people are getting sprayed with pepper spray right now in, in this country. This is a big bad thing that's happening, and uh, I hate it. I wish I had a camera to document it, but it's broken. Thank you for your help. I appreciate you giving me that guy's number. I'm going to call him at Best Buy, and you've done a professional job, and you ain't done nothing to offend me one bit. Appreciate your help, buddy. Thanks, and you have a good night. Thanks. Bye. Call them Best Buy back to see if we can get a phone number for their legal department. Alright, we're going to press 4. You're damn right it's going to be monitored. Um, I need to find out a phone number to your legal department. Mm -hmm. uh, legal matter. I just need to, I just need to, I, I just would like to be able to contact your lawyers because I have a uh, legal matter concerning uh, Best Buy. Okay, there's, okay, there's different departments that handle different things. What is this in reference to? What other parts they have a legal department? There's different departments that have, handle different things. You don't have a legal what department? What do you mean? I don't understand what the question. Sir, if you're not going to provide me with the information and properly route your call, I will, be, I will not be able well, to... Well, I don't understand your question. Anyway. I don't understand okay. your question. This no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Now I understand. Um, this is in reference to uh, customer service treatment. Okay, bear with me one moment. Thank you. Have you spoken with someone in consumer relations? To so I've show I've been through all of that and I have not gotten a resolution at all. So now I want to go through the legal department. Is this the call center? I mean, I, I've already been through a whole bunch of stuff and ended up at a call center talking to people that didn't even really work for Best Buy. They were just like uh, a company hired to take calls. 
is okay, is that who you're hooking me to? No, sir. Bear with me one moment. Okay. I'd like to speak with a general manager of a store, actually, or, or something. Thank you. I do apologize for the inconvenience. Sir, I'm just um, finding, trying to find out the appropriate... That's fine. Okay. I understand. It's probably a unusual call that you don't get every day. <laughs> no, I, I do not. Yeah, well, I've, I've got a serious problem with uh, Best Buy and the customer uh, service and the way I've been treated. So I think that I need to uh, speak with their legal department and maybe take this a little bit further. I hate to have to do this because I really love Best Buy. I've been a loyal customer to them, but uh, doggone, just just ain't happening. This just ain't right. I understand, and I and I totally sympathize with you, and I do apologize for any service that you received. That's okay. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. You don't have to apologize. Just just um, hook me up to the correct people to, or give me a phone number to somebody. Uh, who I can uh, connect my lawyers with. Maybe you have a PR person? Um, there is me one moment. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm trying to find out because that department is closed for today. They close oh. at 4.30. Oh, 4.30. It's 4.30 now. <laughs> Oh, you're in Central Time? Okay. Yeah, we are in Central Standard. Okay. Well, can I maybe give a number uh, to you and then you can maybe have somebody call me back tomorrow? Or something? Um, and that's what I'm trying to find out if there is another department that you can speak with um, that I'm probably not aware of. Um, but um, as far as, you know, I know it would go to consumer relations. And yeah. then it would, you know, I think I've been through them already. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it, it's probably, well, maybe, I don't know, consumer relations. I spoke with, uh, let me see. I called the 800 number that is on the bottom of your website for Best Buy. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. they, and I went through Geek Squad and then they hooked me to somebody else, which ended up being a call center, which was a guy in Kentucky that did not even work at Best Buy. He was just somebody that worked at a, a call center that took calls for all different types of companies. And he was trained on what to say for different... I mean, I could have. he could have been the same guy that you called if you had problems with your cable television. You know what I'm saying? He didn't work for Best Buy. He, he did not work for Best Buy, but he was very, very professional. He helped me out, and he called Best Buy. And uh, then when he relayed a message back to me, from the store that I had a problem at, it made me feel like I obviously needed to take other steps further, and that's why I'm calling you now to uh, try to find out how I can contact Best Buy's legal department, because I am definitely going to be contacting mine. So, do you uh, know who you can contact? Or can you give me a number of something or something? Can you give me a phone number of your lawyers or whatever? I mean, I'm sure that you've had lawsuits before. 
or something of this nature happen, what course do we take from here? I'd really like to do something out of court on this situation. It's a pretty serious, serious situation for me. Maybe it's not for Best Buy because they're a huge company and they make millions and millions of dollars, but I'm just a consumer, you know. But to me, it's very important and it's really serious and it's very, it's, it was very, very hurtful to me. And I feel like I need to speak to uh, your lawyers or somehow, maybe I just need to get my lawyers to do this Actually, work. Yeah, you, if you have an attorney, then they definitely, yeah. if you okay. mention that you have an attorney, they definitely. That's, that's what I'll do. I'll just get my attorneys to figure it out, to figure out who to talk to. That's, a, that's about the best idea, because right now I'm probably trying to do their work for them. Yeah, I was hoping that I wouldn't have to go through that, but you know. Okay, cool. That's be, that'd be fine. Yeah, please wait. I waited one month for my camera to come back, and it still wasn't fixed. Please wait. Please wait. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted my phone number. Please hold while we connect you to your transfer destination. To ensure an exceptional customer experience, your call may be monitored for quality and training purposes. You're right. I'm recording it also. Um, I need to try to find a phone number for, uh, Best Buy's legal department. Okay, may I ask what it is regarding, sir? Uh, just legal matters. Okay, we have different phone numbers for different, um... That's, I just, I think I just talked to you and you just told me the same thing. Different okay. matters concerning different things. So you have different lawyers that, uh work on different types of problems throughout the company? Uh, yes, sir. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm I've been treated correctly. I've bought a camera there and had it sent in to a Geek Squad through a warranty that I paid extra for. And it came back to me unfixed. And when I went into the store today, uh, they called the police on me because... My mother, which was in a wheelchair, had a camera running to document the intermittent problem with the camera that I was bringing back. So um, I documented your security guard asking me or asking, actually asking my mother to turn the camera off or leave the store. And then he turned around abruptly and called the police, and four sheriff deputies came to the store and totally embarrassed us and kicked us out of the store before I got anything resolved on my camera, okay? But he gave us no time to even turn the camera off. No, I mean, he didn't tell us you can't be recording in here or anything. He just completely says, ma'am, you're going to have to turn the camera off or leave the store with it. And then he turned around and walked away hollering, I'm calling the police. I mean, he, doesn't, he, he was very irrational and did not give us one single chance to turn the camera off. And it is all documented on the camera, every single bit of it. So I've got proof of the way that we were treated completely horribly and humiliated 
inside your store. All right, and that's why I want to speak to your legal department because now they have uh, told me that I cannot come in the store ever again or else I'll be arrested for trespassing. And my mother also, which is 70-something years old in a wheelchair, I mean, they treated us like we were criminals because we're trying to get a camera repaired. All right? I want to speak to the legal department because they will do nothing for me as of right now. They've told me I cannot come to the store and to get my camera repaired or do any other transactions with Best Buy, I have to go to another store and that's an hour away from where I live. That's that's not acceptable to me. So I want to uh, speak with your legal department and I'd like to send them the video that I have that I took of how I was treated in your store. That's fine. Most of y'all know that I ain't really a drama mama. I don't like drama. I don't like this crap. This ain't what I'm about. It's bullshit. But when somebody does you wrong, don't let them do it. Stick up for yourself. Don't take no bullshit. And that means, that includes big corporations like Best Buy. Don't take no bullshit from them. You're the one that keeps them in business. Two minutes left in this video. Don't you be wasted. 